uh, our coaching staffs. Uh, Mr. Stuart Law, under 19 head coach. Mr. Wasim Jafar is a uh, batting uh, coach, game development. So uh, both of them are appointed for under 19 team for the next two years. So if you have any question, please. Stuart, welcome back to our again. Thank you. Uh, how pleased to be back? Oh, yeah, yeah, it's it's nice nice to be back. And um, walked into the offices yesterday and saw some very friendly people and you know, a lot of good memories. So um, you know, it's it's nice to be here. You worked at the head coach in the University of Delaware, top level, obviously. So after so many years, what amazing interest was this uh, individual job? Um, I've done I've done some head coaching jobs around the world, and um, you know, to be honest, uh, as a head coach. Uh, of an international team, you don't do a lot of coaching. Um, it's mainly a lot of talking, a lot of administration work, and etc. And you know, this just gives me the opportunity to get back and work in, you know, the grassroots, um, an area where I believe I can I can help make a difference, um, not just to someone's cricketing abilities, but also to help them grow as a young person, a young man. So um, when the opportunity came and uh, I was offered, it was. It's pretty easy to say yes. Yeah, my. Thank you. But you were going to take charge of a side for our title year back. The very following year they entered with the department. So, what is going to be your planning? I mean, do you have any special planning for the side you are going to take charge to regain that title? Yeah, look, it, it, it's nice to sit here and talk about you know, trying to win something, but I think if you focus on the end result, you, you've got to, you know, you, you skip over the, the little bricks you need to stack up to, to get to that stage. Um, you know, at the moment, we, we've got to settle on a squad. Um, we haven't got a squad at this stage. We've got a, you know, a group of 40 players that arrived here last night, um, and we've got to select and whittle down to you know, a squad of, you know, 30, I think we're going to, and then progress from there. So the ICC still haven't notified us as to where the, the tournament's going to be played. Um, it, it possibly will be in the in the subcontinent somewhere, um, but we don't know 100%. So that, that sort of, under, you've got to understand where you're playing to, to what type of team you want to build as well. So uh, at, at this stage, it's, it's all about getting players together, giving them opportunities to, to show us what they what they have um, and to give them opportunities to play in games. We're going to be playing a lot of games before the World Cup. It's 18 months away, so we've got, we're going to be playing a lot of games of cricket as a, as a Bangladesh under-19 team um, between now and the World Cup. So there will be plenty of opportunities um, and hopefully by then <laughs> we'll know where the tournament's going to be played. We're going to work out how we want to play uh, once we, we understand our squad better. Uh, and once we do all that, we can then start planning, finer tuning, um, game plans, etc. But right here, right now, it's, it's an exciting time for 40 young men um, who are just next door. Um, it's a great opportunity. I was lucky enough to play in the Under-19 World Cup, the first ever one. Um, and it's a fantastic opportunity to play against some other players from around the world who are in a similar boat, it, it's, it can be the beginning of something very special. I can't wait. Stuart, the, the discussion is about winning a title. You know, this is how it is in this part of the world. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this level, obviously, you want to boom the players, but here, you know, everybody wants to win the title, even at that kind of night level. So how you going to... The expectation level is that high. Yep. So how you going to deal with that? Oh, you've got, you got, you got to limit um, you know, a, lot of, a lot of things, first and foremost. Um, Bangladesh won't be the only team wanting to win the under-19 title. Um, there'll, be, there'll be a few other teams who want to do that as well. And India have been a powerhouse in this, at this age group. Um, so, you know, it, it, it's about managing expectations of particularly the players. Um, cricket is a very, it's, it's a tough game. Um, it's, it's high pressure um, and it's so unpredictable, the game of cricket. Um, so to look to, to manage expectations of an end result is very difficult to do right now. 
Um, we've got to worry about what we need to do in between here and there before we start worrying about about that. But you know, it, as I said before, it's an exciting opportunity. Yeah, um, talking with Casa um, previously uh, to my arrival here, we we are taking care of that in a, in a way that we're going to be playing longer format games as well in some of these uh, you know um, bilateral series that we're, the, the under 19s are going to play. So there will be some red ball cricket as well as uh, the white ball game. So I think it's I think it's critical. Um, yeah, the World Cups are mainly focused on white ball cricket and, and one day cricket. Uh, but I think it's critical for the young players' development to learn how to play the longer format. Um, I believe your best players come from from learning to play that game. Uh, and from there, it's just about developing their skill level uh, and their, their mindset to be able to kick on and play the 50 over format and the 20 over format. So, you know, it's, it's something that is passionate to me. Uh, I'm a traditionalist. I love I love red ball cricket. I love test cricket. Um, I still believe, and I'm sure Wazim understands, he's played more than me. Um, test cricket is the toughest to play, um, and it's something if you don't understand it early, it's very difficult to pick up as you go. So we're, we're trying to we're trying to give these players as much opportunity as they can to show what they can in every every facet of cricket. Um, so hopefully. Uh, other countries will have the same opinion as well, and if we can get other series to play, um, we can play a four-day game, maybe two four-day games in a in a tour in a series. That'd be that'd be awesome for the young fellas. <coughs> But when these players, players come to national team or the highest level of cricket, uh, it has been seen that they have a lack of game, game, uh, game awareness and uh, professionalism and something like uh, which is not related to field, on field. What will be your focus point uh, which is not related to on field cricket? What will be your focus point? Uh, Outside of cricket or uh, betting, bowling? <laughs> Outside of cricket, um, we, we were just talking about this upstairs. Um, there's. <laughs> It's, it seems weird because we're in front of the yeah. media here, but um, players these days, young players, particularly international players, they have to deal with a hell of a lot more off-field than what we used to. You know, and I'm talking social media. Um, we're we're going to try and you know educate the boys, uh, get someone in, a mind coach, get someone in to educate the boys on you know the the good, the pros and the cons of social media, um, because I think it does in 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 the world that today. Um, social media provides a lot more external pressure, um, whether it be we see you know people talking about you know your, your personal appearance, um, you know what car you drive, you know what what holidays you've been on, and everyone needs thinks they need to keep up and you know go above and beyond. Um, the same with cricket, you know. There's there's a lot of experts out there who sit back and they just see what happens and they just throw a comment on. They don't know the impact that that comment can have on a certain player. If a player is willing to accept that, then you know they need to understand how to how to accept it, read it, pass it, so that it doesn't affect them long term. So that's probably something we're going to focus on because um, the, the social media side of things, players always want to be on social media. Do you have any plan to restrict uh, social media? Uh, I don't think you can restrict. Um, but you can educate on how to use it properly, how to how to understand the the negative side of it. I think is important, but also understand the positives it can have as well. And once they they understand and educated in that way, it's up to the player then to make their own choice. It must be a new feeling for you. Uh, why do you keep the coaching from Bangladesh exercise? You are the champion. 
But why uh, now we are taking the under 19 team and they have a tagline that they have won the under 19 World Cup for 2020. So will it be exciting and uh, around that? Mm -hmm. Will it be challenging for our team? Yeah, look, it's every coaching assignment I've had's been challenging. Um, I think it's it's exciting. Um, by then, we'll have going to the World Cup. You'll have 15 players. Um, you know, Bangladesh. Since I've been involved with Bangladesh, there's so much talent here in this in this country. Uh, it's about harnessing that the energy, harnessing the the talent, and giving them an environment. Uh, and you know the understanding of how to play the game, uh, so they can go out and perform the way they want to perform. So, oh, it, it it is an exciting time, yeah. Um, to to have a I, I worked in the 2016 under 19 setup with you know Maraz and Shanto and the like, um, and it gives me great pleasure now seeing those boys playing international cricket. You know, it, it's it's not about wholly and solely producing international cricketers. I know that's the development program, I get it. But it's also seeing them develop as young men. And every time I've bumped into Mirage or Shanto, you know, it's, it's always great to see them. Big smile on their face, you know, big big hug. And it's, they're so proud of telling me about their family life and, you know, they're now married. And so they've, they've become, come from juniors. Now they're, they're, they're men and they're, they've actually gone on and done things away from cricket as well as you know, produced in their cricket as well. So that's what I'm looking forward to. <coughs> Thank goodness. You swap seats. I think it's uh, more to do with the conditions they play in. Uh, obviously, they play in this condition, so they are used to playing in this condition. I mean, they're facing the spinners, so obviously they are going to, to play the spin as well. That was the case with India as well. Uh, but the more uh, they travel, the more they face uh, you know, those conditions, the faster conditions which we talked about, uh, then automatically they, they'll get accustomed to that. It's about you know touring their regularly playing in those conditions. So that's what I mean. That's what Stuart said. Uh, once we know where's the World Cup and then we can plan, uh, you know, the future games, you know, going into that condition, getting the boys accustomed to that. So it's all about, you know, preparation, uh, you know, preparing them uh, for those conditions. Uh, uh, Wasim, uh, that means uh, you are emphasizing on uh, the playing in different conditions and uh, arranging uh, Conditioning camp in different state countries, right? For the boys under or under 19 cricketers, those who are uh, those who are eyeing to overcome their batting balance, right? Yeah, I think so. I mean, uh, you know, the more the boys get out of their comfort zone, uh, the better they play. You know, like I said, if you play in this environment, you get accustomed to playing in certain way. Uh, so that's what we will try and do. Uh, because I believe that, you know, once the under 19 does well, the national team does well. Uh, you know, that competition comes in. Uh, so if these boys, obviously, our job is to get them to play at their optimum perform well here and, and prepare them for the next level. Uh, that will be the challenge to us. The team from the cricket board arranges few conditioning camps in England or Australia or Sri Lanka or even in India. That would be helpful for them? 
yeah why not why not yeah if if that happens uh, you know more games they play more uh, you know match time like we said you know the more games we play before we play the world cup that will be very handy to everyone wasim you have a great quick battle against my favorite i want to talk about this today i mean it's just a good fun going on uh, you know that social media the players need to stay away from it uh, but <laughs> it's it's been okay because i have come on to the social media after i have retired uh, and it's a good fun to the people who is uh, in the winning side sorry who is in the winning side in the winning side well that's for you to decide <laughs> <laughs> yeah i have a question this uh, now now you are one of the greatest uh, game reader of cricket uh, who, who is not playing cricket right now uh, you are <laughs> analyzing cricket on television on any uh, online media uh, is that help uh, in you it is that help in your coaching uh, first of all i am not the greatest <laughs> uh, but yeah because we have played so much cricket obviously you can see things uh, and you can comment on it uh, but it's a long process uh, you know uh, to get these under 19 boys you know prepare them uh, for the next level for the level here and the next level uh, it's a long process and hopefully will both and all the other staff will try and do that to prepare them you know make them better cricketer better human uh, going forward anyone else coach uh, there are lots of noise about uh, technical and te- technical thing in international uh, level also uh, what will be your goal in international level to improve their technical ability well like you know stewart said we haven't seen any boys yet we will we'll, once we see all of them there are 40 uh, boys who are going to be you know in this camp once we see them uh, you know it's not all the time it's about technical thing it's lot to do with the mental side of the game also so you know you might be very good technically but you are not prepared mentally then you are going to to suffer uh, you know playing on that 22 yard so it's a combination of of both the things and not just technical or even mental you know how physically fit you are so it's a combination of everything that we have to look at coach uh, you are working uh, as a game development coach you will work with hbn also on my team you know you are telling about the uh, strength mental strength but we all hear this word for a long time but nothing change or changing uh, we are uh, always we are prepared to play uh, the batting not developing as well so what will be what you will do for the batsman and mental strength well it has it has changed quite a lot i mean under 19 i won the world cup they've never won the world cup before uh, they're winning the series in west indies so things will happen uh, it take time you know the players take time to develop players take time to you know uh, become mature so it will happen in good time you know you can't expect within a fortnight everybody will become a world champion it's a big process uh, and it will happen with time uh, as long as the process in place and bcb is doing everything uh, in their control to to do it i think it will happen in 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 you know good time you you need to just be patient especially the taste and the quality sorry especially for the t20s and taste um, the guys who is uh, in the pipeline I mean it's a different skill set you know test cricket demands different skill set t20 demand different skill set so you know once we go on to the ground once we have the camps you know then you prepare them accordingly uh, but you know as long as the preparation is right the process is right uh, we will get to see the results sooner rather than later you said you had a uh, short video the post previous video on the cricket test How, how different or similar it is from uh, from India, especially from the coaching uh, part. I think India has got uh, you know a lot of teams. First of all, you know we have got 38 teams in first class cricket, but they've been divided very nicely. You know the elite teams played against the elite. A uh, lot of cricketers. I mean, India has so many cricketers uh, playing first class cricket. Uh, but slowly and steadily, things are happening in in Bangladesh as well. the more they play uh, you know the red ball cricket they will improve you know they play white ball cricket real well bangladesh is a force uh, in white ball cricket everybody knows that you know under 19 have won the world cup the senior team have recently won you know uh, they beaten big teams 
Uh, but the more they play the red ball cricket, the red, you know, the more games they play on those conditions, I think they'll get better. So I think BCB is doing everything in their right to you know improve and and slowly it'll you know show result. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.